What is going on people? Leo here from Creative Tech Lab and hopefully you just enjoyed that little nice quick cinematic sequence that was shot really impromptu on the Sony RX100 Mark 7. Um, we'll get into how that came about in a second but first and foremost this probably is your first time here so welcome to Creative Tech Lab. My name is Leo. This is a YouTube channel to accompany our website creativetechlab.com where we do talk about all things creative mainly right now we're talking about a lot of run and gun videography mainly around the point and shoot camera on the rx100 series in this case the rx100 mark 7. so the video that you just saw the reason why i went ahead and put this video up real quick is because i think it's a great great example of a use case for this camera so we're in the house the kids wanted to just go to the park real quick i was like okay cool let me just grab my camera in case i wanted to grab some stuff and we had the crane m2 was sitting there as well as you guys know i recently unboxed that and we've been doing some tests with it so i was like let's go ahead and take it to the park and just see what we could get the sun was setting so the, the light wasn't too harsh outside and all you needed was a couple of things to get that those shots there um I did use ND filter. I do have the ND filter um, with the lens made adapter onto this camera now. So you need your lens made adapter. Um, we did have the shot stabilized on the Crane M2, which again, full review coming on this soon, but you guys already saw in the unboxing video. I really love the form factor and from using it with the camera is probably the best gimbal out there for the camera and then the only other thing that i did have one second for the last shot in the video where you see that kind of fake drone shot i did grab the monopod um it was in the car most of the time you didn't even need it on the crane m2 you could have just i have well i'm kind of tall and i have long arms you could have just did it with your arms and got a similar shot so that wasn't even really necessary but i think it's a great example of what you could do with this camera and when paired with the music it only took me i didn't have any fancy transitions i didn't have any masking things or anything it was just a quick cut to the music quick color grade and that gave you that cinematic video and with the settings let's just jump into the settings in the camera here real quick all i did was i'm addicted to 120 frames per second so i just went ahead put the cam camera in 120 frames per second made sure my shutter speed was right I actually shot in S-Log just because I was testing out S-Log and I felt like the lighting was okay to give it a try. I, still, I don't think I'm that great at grading S-Log, so yeah, you guys let me know in the comments what you guys think of the colors or how it could be improved or if you liked it or if you didn't like it. But again, this is just a quick video to kind of show the power of this camera, especially as a dad cam or as a family camera. Again, you get a nice little cinematic sequence there with your kids just from a day if it's something special if it's a more special occasion it's something that you could do with this camera as well i just wanted to go ahead and just show the power of the camera and show what it is how it is that you're able to get these type of shots so again all you really needed was a stabilizer nd filter to monitor your um to modify your lights again if you need to because sometimes the lighting could get a little bit harsh and there's no built-in um, nd on this stair and then yeah all you needed is just follow your kids around or follow your subject around on the camera if you do enough you'll be able to pull out some clips that will work put them together to the music and voila you have a cinematic sequence i am going to do a more planned not as impromptu cinematic sequence just to show the full behind the scenes of how to get some creative shots with this camera so look out for that video coming up in the next few days but i just kind of wanted to show that even if you didn't plan out a, um, a cinematic sequence and it was just completely impromptu these are the type of results that you're able to get with this camera so hopefully you liked it again we have a couple more things right now actually as we're shooting this video i'm doing a vlog test for this setup with that so that'll probably be the next video to come out sorry the rx100 mark 7 just cut me off there so yeah um we're gonna do a vlog test setup on the mark 7 with the nd filter the lens mate ld filter the crane m2 and we're going to do um actually from from the vlog test that i did going to the airport um link up here for that video i use a ceremonic mic i do not like the quality of the ceremonic mic very well it's very 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 tinny 
Um, I kind of agree with Camera Conspiracy is that it just doesn't sound very well. So I think the tethered mic here with the Smart Lav plugged into the microphone might not be the best looking thing, but it probably would be the best sounding and the best quality video. So we're running a test for that now as I'm shooting this video. So that's the video. We'll go ahead and we'll do the vlogging test and in the vlogging test, we'll go ahead and announce the winner for the Zhiyun Smooth Q that we're giving away for hitting 100 subscribers. A couple more people have subscribed since we've announced the video. So if you wanna go ahead and be in that subscriber list, go ahead and subscribe. So we'll go ahead and announce the winner for the Zeon Smooth Q in tomorrow's video, which will be the vlog test video with the Mark 7. And I got a couple more things to do today, so we'll knock it out again. Thank you for watching. This is Creative Tech Lab. Go ahead, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification button. You will not be disappointed. A lot more videos like this to come on the Mark 7. We're trying to knock out as many videos so we could see if we want to keep it. So we have a few more weeks with it. So we're going to knock out everything else that you want to know about this camera and then do a full review and then see what the deal is. We're kind of waiting on Sony to see what they say on the A7S three or four, or whatever it's gonna be. So thank you for watching. Hit the subscribe button, hit the notification button, do whatever it is that you wanna do, and I will catch you tomorrow in the next one. Peace.